Penny's birthday sleepover? It's the event of the year. Hey, thanks for coming over for my birthday. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm ready to watch movies and stay up late and just generally have a break from running for my life. We are gonna have so much fun at this sleepover. I can't wait. My nanny is home just in case anything goes wrong. Hello, kids. I'm the nanny. You can call me if you need anything. Wow, Penny's nanny seems really nice. We are gonna celebrate Penny's birthday with cake. Please take a seat at the kitchen table so we can have cake. Kicking off the birthday sleepover with cake already. This is incredible. This bodes well, a sign of things to come. One thing's for sure, there's no way this sleepover is going terribly wrong. Happy birthday, Penny. Look at that confetti cake. Chocolate chip cookie dough cake, your favorite. Guys, this is the best birthday ever. Thank you so much. No need to thank us, thank Nanny. And the cake is so delicious. Yeah, Ellie loves it. She's on her like third piece. Easy and Coco says, should we open your presents next? Oh, that is a great idea, Penny. Open my present first. You're gonna love it, open mine first. Not so fast. You guys have to help me clean up the birthday decorations. But the party's just getting started. Why are we gonna clean up the birthday decorations now? After that, you guys can go open presents. No disrespect, Nanny, but it's backward system. We're about to get wrapping paper everywhere. Also, we've got a whole evening to enjoy these birthday decorations. Can't believe that I'm cleaning up all of these balloons now. Feels like a bit of a waste. Walk in the door, it's like nice balloons. Now put them in the bin. Maybe Nanny's a bit of a clean freak. She likes things nice and tidy. Doesn't like random stuff just hanging around. At least I snagged an extra piece of cake. That's all of the decorations. Time to open Penny's presents. Uh-oh, better smash this cake so I can wash my hands. It's delicious. Everyone, meet in the living room so we can open Penny's presents up. Can't wait for Penny to see what I got her. It's a baseball bat, a real good smasher. She can use it for everything. Baseball, self-defense, shaking apple trees, smashing cake. Wow, epic stash. These are awesome gifts, clothes and cool toys. What about my special birthday bat? You forgot to mention my bat. This is gonna be the best sleepover ever. Yeah, how can it not be when your bestie gets you a bat? A bestie bat, I know she loves it. There's one more special present I have for you, Penny. But you have to wait until tomorrow. Dang, Nanny, that's not exactly how birthdays work. Why does Penny have to wait until the day after her birthday? It's late, kids. You need to go to bed. Go to bed at nine o'clock at a birthday sleepover? That is illegal. You can stay up all night as long as it's in your room. Have a fun sleepover. Oh, thank goodness, I was worried I was gonna have to fight Nanny. Here's the plan, my pals. We'll go upstairs and set up our bed so that everything is ready for when we actually wanna go to sleep. Obviously, we'll not be going to sleep at nine o'clock. That is just ridiculous. Let me know in the comment section what you think a normal time to go to sleep is during a sleepover. Like, if I'm in a sleepover and we're asleep before 11 o'clock, I'm like, was it even a very good sleepover? This one's fine. I want top bunk. We're not actually sleeping, right? It's a sleepover. We're supposed to stay up all night. Woohoo! Ellie gets it! Sleepovers are not for sleeping. They're for secrets. No, of course not. We're doing an all-nighter. Just wait until Nanny falls asleep. I don't even think we have to wait. Nanny said it was okay for us to stay up all night as long as we stayed in our room. I wonder what secret present your Nanny got you. I want to know what it is, too. Maybe it's inside that locked door. Penny, I'm sorry if this is an awkward question, but has your Nanny always been able to walk through solid objects? It's giving departed spirit. You guys want to go look for the secret present? A diabolical suggestion and exactly the kind of mischief I believe we should be getting up to on a sleepover. I vote yes. Sneak down and find secret present. I like how four people voted for adventure and one person's like, I'm so snoozy though. I don't care about a vote. It's my birthday, so we will sneak out to find the present. Well, dang, Penny, we voted yes, so it's all good. We've got a consensus. Watch out for the loud steps on the stairway down. Hot tip from Penny, thank you very much. I don't want to wake up Nanny. Obviously, Nanny and I don't see eye to eye on everything. Cleaning up the birthday decorations immediately, ridiculous. 9 p.m. birthday bedtime, illegal. But it must be said, that cake she made was a banger. And if Nanny catches us sneaking around out of bed, she might not let us have birthday breakfast cake. And that's one of my favorite parts of a birthday sleepover. Let me know in the comment section your favorite kind of birthday party. Look, says me, the basement door is unlocked. Hmm, I think the present is in there. An uneducated guess from me, I don't know why the present would be in the basement. But Penny says, let's go check and see. Your birthday, your rules. I told you kids to stay in your room. What's going on? Is this what Nanny looks like when she takes off her makeup? No judgment. I just feel like everything's a lot more red than I remembered. This is my private area. No one can know about. All good, we'll just go back upstairs. 
I must end you. <laughs> good joke, Nanny. It's a, it's a good joke. It's a joke, right? Nanny is crazy. Run, everyone. She's not crazy. She's literally on fire. I see. Actually, you know what? I don't need to argue semantics. Crazy, on fire, neither of them are good, and I am not really good about this situation. I think that we should probably just exit Nanny's special basement. She feels very strongly about the basement, and I feel very strongly that we should all just leave. Let's leave, and the door is locked. Do you want us to leave or not, Nanny? Put up the decorations. Take down the decorations. Get out of my basement. You're trapped in the basement. I don't really mind either way, but I would like a little bit of consistency. To be fair to Nanny, one time my dad walked in the room while I was trying to wrap his secret birthday present, and this is pretty much how I reacted. Like, probably when it happened to me, there were less flames involved, but lots of yelling, get out of here, I will end you. So what I'm saying is, is Nanny really crazy, or is she a relatable queen? <laughs> Just a hard-working lady trying to surprise her granddaughter on her birthday. She's been pushed to the limit. She's got nothing left to give. We get the point, Nanny. We get it. Oh, she disappeared. That's ghostly. Penny says, we need to escape. There's a path right there. Yeah, true. I don't like Nanny so much when she's mad. I might be hitting the dusty trail. Laya says, let's jump in. Looks scary, though. But it is Penny's birthday, Penny's birthday, Penny's rules, and if she wants to, oh, slide down a sewage tunnel. I guess that's what we'll be doing. Happy birthday, Penny. Now we're in the sewer. Ew, we're in the sewers. We need to get across and climb out of here. It smells so bad. I can't stand it anymore. I'm just gonna go for it. If we're in the sewers, I'm embracing sewer life. Okay, sewer life is not all it was cut out to be. Bit of a life update, I'm no longer embracing the sewer life. Further life update, what happened to all of my friends? Penny? Ellie? Where is everybody? What if Nanny is waiting for us at the top? I say to no one in particular because everybody else has disappeared. There's only one way to find out. Penny, where are you hiding? Is it in the sewerage? Just go. Ah, there she is. We made it out. There's a long walk ahead of us, though. Let's go. Wow, it's daylight. How long were we in that sewer? And a long walk, where are we walking to? Penny, where are the rest of our friends? I have like at least three pressing questions. Penny doesn't care, Penny's hitting the road. She wants to walk all the way to that asphalt wall. Oh, no, it's a tunnel. A car, let's flag them down and ask if we can use their phone. Penny says, who's that? Kind of a silly question, Penny. It could be literally anyone. We haven't introduced many characters, so it might even be Nanny. Oh no, it's two old ladies. Hello, sweet children. You guys seem lost. Can we help you get home? That would be amazing, actually. If you have a phone that we could use, maybe we can call my parents. Guys, they're old like our Nanny. She probably sent them to kidnap us. Penny, you are throwing around some wild accusations. Uh-oh, I think they heard us. Don't be silly. We're just old grandmas. We want to help. Phone or no phone, old lady, I've had a rough night. Leave us alone. We don't want your help. Wow, tough talk from me. Kind of love it. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Um, that kind of sounds like a threat. They threatened us. We have to fight the old ladies. Do we have to fight them right now? We could have like a little bit more of a chat before we, okay, no, attack the old ladies. Quick, Penny, your birthday bat. Obviously the circumstances are less than ideal, but bit exciting to take the old birthday bat for a test drive. Wow, these old ladies don't quit. Do we think that they were really sent by Penny's nanny? Or is this just like a separate incident of old people oh. wild? Oh my gosh, they did end me. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Yeah, I simply must revive. I cannot leave Penny alone on this day of all days, her birthday. And her birthday wishes for me to fight old ladies. Got him. We can't trust anyone. What do we do now, Penny? It's a good question now that we've committed a terrible, terrible crime. We have to destroy our nanny once and for all. Apparently I want to do more crimes. Can't get enough of the birthday bat. She really does have a nice swing to her. Guess after that, we're criminals on the run, Bonnie and Clyde out on the lamp. Wait, what's happening to the road? I really hope that's geothermic activity. Uh-oh, oh my gosh, I just fell into the crevice. Is it an earthquake? A sinkhole? What's going on here? All right, it's giving underground cavern and... <gasps> Nanny! Have I mentioned lately how much I love your cake? I heard you kids want to destroy me. What? Destroy you? No. Such a shame. You are good kids. We're still good kids. I just want Penny to have a nice birthday. 
You are a terrible nanny. We will destroy you. Don't listen to Penny. That was a joke. Okay, just kidding. Now we're in a boss fight. Nanny, how did it come to this? The sleepover started off so promising. The cake, the prezzies. Obviously, we had a little bit of a hiccup with the decorations, but I thought we got over it. And yes, I do realize that we promised to stay in our room all night. And yes, it was a bit naughty to go looking for the secret present, but I really feel like you're overreacting. Okay, go for the ankles. Penny, I'm getting you another birthday present, apparently. The gift of destroying your nanny? It just doesn't sound right. Why is nanny so tough? Desperate times, calling for desperate measures. What looks like it could defeat a nanny? Ooh, lightsabers. She's purchasing. All right, Nanny, you know this has never been a fair fight. But now I believe it's time to level the playing field. Obviously, you're doing a lot with the power of your mind, creating lava out of thin air. But I've got a lightsaber now. Okay, Nanny? And I am going for your Achilles heel, which is your Achilles heel. It's both literal and metaphorical. And if there's one thing I know about Penny's Nanny, it's that she has weak ankles. Go on, Nanny, just let down the force field. Just for a second, thank you. That's for making me clean up the balloons before the party was done, and that's for my friend, and that's for ruining Penny's birthday. Oop, all eyes on the ceiling. What's gonna happen on the ceiling? Is someone going to descend from the ceiling? Oh no, it's just opening to reveal a more differently textured ceiling. Don't exactly know where they're going with this, but we love a surprise, and no! I'm trapped! Oh, it wasn't a ceiling at all, it was a cage. Told you we'd win, Nanny. Your time is up. And swing this round for flourish. Are we sure she's trapped in there? How secure is that cage? Just let me out of here and I won't bother you again. Can't do that, I'm afraid, Nanny. Can't do that. It's not that simple, Nanny. You tried to hurt us. It's true, you flew off the handle immediately and all we did was go into a basement. Guys, what should we do with Nanny? It's true, we can't just leave her in a subterranean cage. We're gonna need a more permanent solution. Feed her to the dogs, not that permanent. Unhinged suggestion, I definitely have to go with let the police handle it. I am not in the business of turning nannies into dog food. Let's be nice and let the cops handle this. Or really any adults. We are children, we do not need to be dealing with this stuff. Wow, we got the whole SWAT team here for nanny? I'm in a lot of trouble. But wait, I can explain. Explain it to the judge. You got the mercy ending. Wow, I'm a winner.